What's going on guys? Testing out right now the Viltrox Micro Four Thirds adapter to EF lenses. Anything of you know, Canon EF S lenses that can pretty much adapt to this and allow pretty much more light passing in through. I do have a variable ND filter also as well attached to my lens. It is attached right now to a Sigma 1835 f1.8. So if you bring it down with the adapter, it pretty much goes down to 1.2 of an aperture, which is freaking amazing because it's going to get pretty much a bokeh background like none other. And during night, it's pretty much going to see you a lot more than a regular freaking camera. I mean, check this out. I'm shooting at nighttime right now with ISO 1600 all the way down to 1.2 of an aperture. That is ridiculous. I'm shooting it right now on the Panasonic GH5 with a stabilizer on. Video lock is off. Everything else is all off. The only thing that's on right now currently is just a stabilizer with the up and down stabilizer mode. I have the focus pretty much set into one area. Um, we're going to try different settings right now pretty much on the GH5. I believe if you put it to AFF with the eye autofocus system, it actually does work a lot better too as well. It's pretty much locking everything right now. What I want for vlogging purpose while I'm walking just steadily while talking to you, it's doing I think a pretty good decent job right now tracking pretty much my face and making sure that it's also as well staying in focus. But yeah, let's give this a little test and see exactly what we can do with this uh, setup. Let's keep going. <coughs> Okay, we're walking right now and let's see how it's handling pretty much keeping up in track with my face. I like it so far. I'm still telling you guys, make sure that you guys are rocking around with variable ND filters. So otherwise you're not gonna get that crisp cinematic look, making sure that your settings are all set. If you're shooting 24, 30 frames per second, you wanna make sure that you adjust your exposure settings accountable pretty much making sure that you are on pretty much track. Oh, what's going on? This is... Pretty much, if you decide to vlog with this setup, a Sigma 18-35 f1.8 and the Panasonic Lumix GH5, it does weigh a little ton, but you know, if you're active, if you lift, I'm sure that this is pretty much a good setup for you. I mean, you want to get that workout pretty much for your biceps and your forearms, I suggest you pretty much go with this setup. But other than that, I suggest you stick into a 12-35. Uh, Lumix native lens for the GH5 and you should just get pretty much a good decent footage too as well But uh, let's just keep testing out what it can look. I'm not gonna do any color correction or gridding or anything like that It's just pretty much set in standard mode. So vlogging with this in a tunnel. It looks pretty super dope Look at that Look left and right guys whenever you're walking 
That's the main street. Oh, look at this cute little puppy park. Check this out. Yeah, we got all that. Check that out. That's pretty cool. 